He's starting to look like a person. They're kind of looking like him. I hope something's not right. I think it's this. Doing this kind of stuff, uh, you kind of have to step back every. When you when you go this big, you have to step back a lot. You get too close to it, you can't see what you're doing. I started at a little bit of. This will be my second time I've done this month. So, almost, like close to two years, maybe a year and a half. Which is kind of neat. I mean, I didn't really use pastel before that. So, I think I'm catching on relatively fast with how to use it, even though this is a terrible surface for that. The blackboard doesn't really take a pastel very well. It's taken these really well. I just started using these hard pastels. But most of it, most of the product falls on the floor, so that's not good. I was standing outside J&B talking to somebody else, uh, and I think I was saying something about drawings, uh, and Londo sort of a, a, appeared and, and, and said something really complimentary about my work. Uh, in this really sort of un uncomfortable way, and I, I, I realized that he was the person who who does this, you know, this monthly chalk portrait at J and B, and this seems maybe maybe silly, but I really I really had never met anybody else who worked in pastel. Um, this is such a this is such a difficult and such a impractical medium in so many ways that it was. Um, I was like utterly thrilled um, by his talent and by the fact that we share a, a medium, at least for that. Londo does other things, such as paintings uh, and work in other media too. But that's how we got started, was he was, he was, he was my, my chalk brother. And so uh, uh, it's, it's nice working up here too, because when Londo um, has a painting to work on, he can come up and we can sort of work together in this space. And, there's room enough to do that, uh, and it's really exciting to have kind of a dialogue uh, with another artist in, in similar media, working with similar subject matter. Um, I think we approach the figure differently. Um, we have different concerns and different objectives with the way that we work, but we have a very close affinity, I think, artistically. When I finish with them, I, I like actually being done with them more because I erase them and it kind of, I'm essentially wetting them with our cleaner, our industrial cleaner that we have here and then it just kind of makes all the layers fall on top of each other. So they look like some kind of toxic melt. And I like taking pictures of that because that looks more interesting to me than, than this does. That's, but that's not, that's definitely not what I would want to do, but yeah, something more in line with the things that I like, my interests. I mean, everything's a lot easier now with internet and such. Like even if there's not a market for some of the things that I do, if I decided to do something that was a little stranger or weirder, I think there'd be somewhat of a market, but you can always throw something on Instagram and or start an Etsy account or something and the world's a lot smaller for that and so it's easier. There's like a lot of art students from tech and stuff that'll come up and compliment and stuff, so that's nice. But it's, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I inspire anybody. That's not really something that I guess a lot of people would voice. I do get people that say, like, which is kind of weird to me, really. Like, hey, man, I really appreciate what you're doing. <laughs> it just seems silly to me because I don't, I don't think of it like that, I guess. But I'm not looking to do that. But I like it. People like it. But yeah, a lot of those people are just 
awesome and talented, so I don't oftentimes find myself in the same league, but I have had people like compliment me on my rendering skills. But I'm just patient is all. I'm sure they could do just as well if they just put together a little time. That's not necessarily what everybody does. Not everybody's in this to make a lifelike portrait. There's so many different things you can do with art, and this is just kind of an easy one to make money with. So you don't have to worry about living in love, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. Living in love. People get bored here, but you can get bored anywhere. If you're bored here, you have a little money, though. And you can get unbored. I gotta, I gotta step away for a second. <laughs>